Donald Trump criticizes appointing older judges despite his own age. Donald Trump recently stated that only stupid people put old individuals on the Supreme Court, seemingly overlooking the fact that he himself is a 78 year old running for the highest executive office in the U.S. The former president made these remarks during an interview with Bloomberg in Chicago on Tuesday. Reflecting on his judicial appointments, Trump said, It's amazing because I got three in four years. Most people get none. You know, you put them in, they're young. You tend to put them in young. He added, Only stupid people put old. You know, you don't put old in because they're there for two years or three years, right? Trump, the oldest presidential nominee in U.S. history, is seeking another four-year term. If elected in November, he would be 82 years old by the end of his presidency in 2029. His age has been a frequent point of criticism from Democrats, who have questioned his mental sharpness and fitness to serve. Modern presidents typically nominate younger justices to the Supreme Court to ensure longer-lasting ideological influence as justices serve lifetime appointments. During his term, Trump appointed three justices, Neil Gorsuch, Brett Kavanaugh, and Amy Coney Barrett, who were 49, 53, and 48 years old, respectively, at the time of their confirmation. These appointments solidified a conservative majority on the court, which has made significant rulings, including the reversal of Roe v. Wade, a decision that had previously protected abortion rights. When asked about his comment regarding appointing old individuals, Trump was reminded that he is running for president at the age of 78. However, he dismissed the question and instead responded, So, I got three. A lot of presidents get none. I got three. And, uh, I think they've been three great choices too, by the way. Concerns about Trump's age and mental acuity have become more prominent on the campaign trail. He has been known to give lengthy, meandering speeches, ignore or miss questions, and during a recent town hall event, spent much of his time dancing to music instead of addressing audience inquiries.